Fashion Talk. Hey y'all, it's Michelle from the future and I want to apologize because y'all, I did not film an intro to this video. I don't know how I did that. However, this video is going to be about how I installed this beautiful highlight unit. So I hope you guys enjoy. So I already have my areas that I know where I like to make my unit um, life. And I kind of, because I've wore this unit quite some time, I basically know how far to go with my got to be free spray. Um, so I do the two layers. Then I'm gonna go in again and do another layer. And this is with cool air, if you guys didn't know. Um, I'm using the got to be because I don't wear my units to work um, and I really just wear them on the weekends. So just need temporary hold. If I was to go on vacation or something, I would definitely use an actual glue adhesive. So yeah, it's not fully dry, but I want it to be fully dry when I lift up my unit and um, place it. I don't want it to be too forward on my head. So, I know the area that I typically like my unit. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was so flipping scary. The camera dropped. I don't know if you guys seen the motions. I'm gonna see if you guys were able to see the motions um, when I edit this video. But now I just put you guys on a tripod because I, I can't, like, if you guys don't already know, my camera's on its last leg. So the last thing I need to do is be messing around and having something like this happen okay so like I said I think we're gonna go with the middle part let's see I haven't done a side part in this unit first off this this baby here is given too much swoop swoop but that's one of my baby hairs. You guys, I'm such a middle part girl. Like, I think the middle part is a bit of me. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna go with the middle part because, yeah, okay. Y'all, I'm trying my best. Um, I'm trying to create a reel, I guess, or one of those little videos um, for the first time. And it's a struggle bus. Like, why is this so hard? I'm trying to do the. I'm so pretty and he loves that. Or and he liked it or whatever. I was trying to do that one, but I don't know. I just I don't know how to do that. Like I'm trying to keep up with the kids. Don't know how to do that. Waiting for my hot iron to heat it up, heat it up, heat it up, heat it up. I really love this unit. Like I love this hair color. So heat it up, heat it up, heat it up. And I'm giving Beyonce. I'm literally just kidding about you guys. Or am I? Ah! <laughs> um, but yeah, so middle part is my go-to. I did not, um, I don't know why I'm just, you know when you just start doing things? Like, girl, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I did not color put like my foundation on my wig cap underneath so we're gonna have to do it in the parting space unfortunately it is what it is um so i am gonna have my baby hairs out 
I guess on the Aragante, um, Aragante wig class, which I'm happy. All the girls that are sharing the info, we appreciate you. I'm rooting for you. Honestly, I've been off of, um, social media. Well, not social media like that, but really been off of my, um, little personal Instagram. So I didn't even know that Arrogant Tay was having a master class because I honestly think that I would have paid for that, like for sure. Like that would have been a game changer. But for all the girls on the tube that are sharing some of the things you guys learned, we appreciate you. I really do, but I really do wish that I could have had the first hand experience, um, but I still appreciate the lovely ladies on YouTube that are sharing what they learned. Um, because Arrogant Tay be slaying these units. Um, and one thing that I learned is he said to, he said that he hot, he hot combs his baby hairs, which I'm just a little scared. It's really close to my face. So if it was on my wig head right now, I would have been doing that. But the fact that it's on my head, I'm not doing it. Do you have it on your wig head? Go ahead and do it. That's what I'm gonna do for all my units in the future when I'm customizing them on my wig stand. So here are my baby hairs. Another thing I learned is he actually curls his baby hairs into place like yeah i've been sharing the gems and i really appreciate that so yeah let me go ahead and just get this part done i'm just using eco styler because sometimes i really do prefer to use it on the baby hairs i have mousse but shoot it's not everyday mousse on the baby hairs for me this is totally me, what I prefer to do. So if you're watching this, it's what Shell likes to do. Um, yeah, it may look stuck to my head, um, but I will lift it as you guys probably would imagine. Might as well have a little bit of girl talk and let's talk about it. Guess what's going on in pop culture? <laughs> pop culture is the news that Sweetie and um, Justin, what am I trying to say? Sweetie and Quavo broke up, right? But it just so happened to be after she guest starred on Respectfully Justin which is like a new little TV show with Justin L.A. Boy and Justin Combs, Dior Combs, whatever. Well, I guess Quavo has been che Ooh! <laughs> cheated on her. Uh, that's not the reason why I'm making that sound. It's because I, I felt that little tingle. You know that little tingle when you burn your forehead like you almost you legit almost burn your forehead like that could have been bad um anyways i'm liking that new little revolt tv show i watched two of the episodes because there's only two episodes out right now um justin la boy was like no face no case like he was like I don't want to say Wizard Kelly, but he was like that man that no one's seen before. At least I never knew about him. Like, I never knew what he looked like until I seen, respectfully, respectfully, Justin. So that was interesting to see what the man actually looks like. Um, but I'm loving the episodes. They're not too long. They're short, sweet, to the point. But they keep your attention the whole time. I'm gonna start using my hot comb on a lower level. Like, it doesn't have to be this hot, Michelle. Anyways, yeah, you guys just let me know what you guys think about that whole cheating. Um, why do you think it played out the way it did? Like, 
after this episode because it sounds like when according to her tweets it sounds like she like like she said she been checked out so like what what like why why do you think it took until this point um or do you think like that was also a sign of her showing like i've been checked out and that's the reason why i'm about to hop on this show this <laughs> this show with my ex i found it interesting she's from sacramento i'm from sacramento um we have some mutuals so i really feel kind of weird talking about people that like you know i don't know you guys know what i mean like when you you know know someone i wasn't friends with or some you know when you kind of just know people like mutuals and stuff like you feel and maybe they're like i don't know if people in la feel like that or people that live places with a lot of celebrities like Atlanta and stuff like that but like when you know of some mutuals like you know you don't really like to speak on people like that because you know it's just you know <laughs> I don't know I guess I'm done with talking about this discussion because I really don't know where to go with it but if you guys want to have a discussion in the comment section go ahead y'all never post anything in the comment sections that I at least asked for um I want more like clump definition in this so again I, I want my top not to be like this is yeah this isn't the definition I need um so I'm gonna go in kind of layer by layer because I kind of need it to clump not even like I kind of need it like I really need it to clump so we're gonna go in I don't want the hair to be drenched, you know, you feel me? Like, I don't want it to be drenched, but baby, we need to use our Denman brush to get a little clumping action. And you, you know, scrunch as well. Then we're gonna use a little bit of the remaining Eco Styler I got. <laughs> I don't like to use too much Eco Styler because I don't like the, the stringy look. <sighs> it's this top part, like it's not getting what it's supposed to get. <sighs> Let's go in with the motions. I really don't like to put too much product in this hair, like to be honest. Why is this top part like just you see that you guys this top part is what where the issue is no edit just glides and vibes girl do what you need to do what you were supposed to do give what you were supposed to have gave okay and then I'm just gonna put a little eco on this when I'm done <clears throat> I'm gonna let it do its thing a little bit and then we're gonna like soften up the baby hairs, touch up what needs to be touched up. And then, you know, we'll be done. So I'll come back you guys. Okay, hey guys, we're back and I changed my top um, because I tried to film one of those reels like the I'm so pretty. I think I told you guys that I was going to try to do it. I just, I just, I just said to do a friend data, so I want to see her response. Um, it's a hot mess. I'm going to put it right here, you guys. I'm so shy. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty and he like that When he beat it up he deep inside that kitty cat Kitty cat losing focus like a sweaty wack I tried I really did <laughs> She says she loves it Oh my gosh Oh my gosh I know I appreciate 
stay true. I really do. Um, I'll, yeah, you guys got to see it, so I'm going to insert it right here. I'm cracking up. So let's go ahead and let's soften up these baby hairs. <laughs> That's Dana, y'all. So it's not sticking to my forehead. But yeah, so this is what the hair looks like. It's so beautiful. I love this hair. Um, again, all this, all the details on this hair from I Show Hair is going to be in my description box below. So if you guys haven't seen my first video um, discussing about all the specs on this hair, then definitely check my description box as well as the cards. I'll have that included um, as well as my discount code and all of that. If you want to cop this unit, I think it is vacation hair. I think it is so bomb. Um, I really, really like the color. If you guys don't know, I am a fan of highlights and brown. I think it just looks very nice on me personally. Um, and I just love it. I think it's perfect for the spring and, and summertime. So, yeah, this is what we're looking like. Um, to me, it looks good. It looks laid. It looks laid. You guys saw the products I used. You guys saw that this was a glueless install. And yeah, it looks very nice. So if you like how this hair looks, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also be sure to check out I Show Hair. Those are the homies, um, those are my girls. So be sure to check them out. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, sis, what are you doing? Cause you're playing games. I'm gonna be bringing you guys looks, but you guys gotta be doing your part too. Like you can't just come get these gems and dip without joining the family. That's not, that's not fur and I don't like that. Um, so yeah, be sure to smash that subscribe button. And of course, don't forget to tell your mama, your auntie, your brother, your brother's girlfriend, and your grandma to join my family. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Much love. Bye y'all.